Hey everyone and welcome to MTV News where we're talking all about love and babies and dates and everything I know nothing about. Sophie Kazai has spoken up about Charlotte Crosby tweeting her congratulations to Gaz Beadle after the birth of his baby boy. Given the pair's slightly rocky history, it was actually a very nice thing for her to do. So Charlotte did a tweet to Gary congratulating Gary and Emma. I think it's probably a really good thing because it just shows that Charlotte and Gary did have a good time together and are like good friends and since everything that's happened they have spoke. So I think it was a really good thing, a very adult thing, a mature thing for Charlotte to do. So I know like she got a lot of good feedback, loads of people were saying like well done, got a lot of respect for you. So yeah like it's good that Gary and Charlotte can finally be friends. Selena Gomez has hit up Nick Jonas about him taking her on a not very romantic date, way back when they were cute Disney stars. The Jonas brother appeared on Nick Grimshaw's BBC Radio 1 show, where Selena had left him a little voice message saying, Hello Nicholas, it's Selena Gomez. Okay, I'm gonna stop the accent. She continued, I would like to remind you of a time where we all went to Central Park together. It was definitely over 10 years ago. I was wondering if that brought up anything for you. Nick paused, took a breath, probably saw his life flash before his eyes and said, this was at a time when my brothers and I were in a boy band and we were in Central Park and we were very private about our relationship and she was unhappy that her Central Park experience was ruined by the fact that I walked about 20 feet away from her. Yes, yes it does somewhat ruin the vibe when your boyfriend asks you to go and stand next to the tree a few meters away. It gets a bit awkward at the kissing stage. He continued, so her and Taylor Swift, who was dating my brother Joe, but we never confirmed it, walked 25 feet behind us as we walked through the park by ourselves. And they say romance is dead. Bieber claims he knows what love is. The singer posted a picture of himself on Instagram in which he's smiling, pulling the thumbs up and hugging a tree. It's captioned, now I know what love is. We are personally thrilled to be able to ship this hot new couple of Bieber and Tree and even more thrilled to be able to spend the rest of the day coming up with a fun new couple name. Treba, Bree, or maybe they're not a new couple. Maybe Justin Bieber simply announcing his new venture as environmental activist. We'd ship that too. Has Kim Kardashian just dropped a hint about what her new baby's name is? The burning question on the tip of everyone's tongues next to is Kylie pregnant and what does the order to your Instagram story viewers mean? Fans are convinced that the Kardashian has dropped a major hint about the baby name after she posted an Instagram picture of a Louis Vuitton print with no caption. That's it, just the pattern. People are guessing from that that it's totally, definitely a hint about her baby name, which doesn't seem tenuous at all. Now there are four points on the Louis Vuitton pattern so a lot of people are going deep on the whole compass theory and if saint equals south and north equals north and west equals west then that just leaves e so the name is probably something radical like east or maybe the name starts with an l or a v really narrowing down the field here guys or maybe it's just a deep meditation on how they've already started moo boarding the baby's specific personal brand and how exactly it fits within the larger kardashian empire's ongoing rebranding mission or maybe kim just got a new handbag that's all from me, I'm off to go and hug a tree in the absence of anyone else. If it's good enough for Bieber, it's good enough for me.